Joel, take care. Oh. Take care, alright, Joel. All right, guys. We're gonna we're gonna take this. We're getting this. I think this uh, the title's wrong, but we're getting it changed. This is live at CES. The title's wrong. Uh, Miss BBT is gonna go out there and change this this title. So I'm gonna get you guys on the floor. I'm here with Barnacles right now. So this isn't the IBM event. We're gonna change that title. Theodore. Let's see here. We'll let Miss BBT change that. This is live at CES. Gonna go. I'll let you open the base. I'm gonna walk the floor, take these guys through. Sounds good. Man. Are you streaming right now? I am. 24 on there so far. I can't believe you guys watch this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like what? All right, I'll get out right. there to Seattle. Sometime. Sounds good, man. Go, out. hey, go, go get it, man. All right, go get it while it's getting good. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna go. We're on the. Here, let's flip this around. Uh, maybe. Flip camera. Why aren't you flipping? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know why that camera is not flipping. I'm gonna clear all these. to camera and hands. Switch camera. All right, we'll go like this for a second. You guys hang for one second. I think I need a, I was using the other camera phone to take a, or the other side of the camera to take a, a picture with Barnacles and now it's not letting me flip it around. One second. Hold, please. There we go. You guys might need a refresh. Holding. So, funny story. I had the camera on the gimbal backwards. So I was actually flipping the camera fine. It was just, you were seeing the back of the gimbal. I am such a noob. All right, so we are in, we are at CES. We're on the, the, the South Hall on a, I think this is the, essentially we're 3D printing some of the newer tech when it comes to mobile you know, cases and stuff. Okay, where do we get a beer? Yeah, get your beers, hang out. We're gonna be live for a bit here. I'm gonna take you guys through. We're gonna find Ledger X's booth. I think they're downstairs from where I'm at right now. We're gonna check out the new Ledger X, see if we can get a sample to do some testing with. Uh, we're also gonna check out NVIDIA and AMD's booth and look at that new suite GPU that they just announced today, the Radeon 7. I do have the BBT Multi Miner with me. If I can get access to a PC and I can talk them into it, we'll try to do some live mining at CES. Hopefully, the stream quality is good. It looks like we're holding. Pro streamer, Miss BBT, check this thing out. What? Did I just walk back that Adam Miner booth? Did Adam have a booth back there? I don't know if that's a miner. That might be a. De is that mining over there? Let's let's take a look.
Adam XS. I don't know if that's mining, but we'll walk over and take a look. I'm carrying a full full rig too, bros. So we're gonna get some sick. No, I think that's some of something else. Think small. Life in the palm of your hand. Now, I don't think that's mining. I think that looks like a like a battery pack of some sort. Disappointed on no Navi info. Well, I thought personally the AMD keynote was killer. I thought they they brought a they, you know they answered a lot of things. If you look at any of the Nvidia presentations, you know they they brought us not just words of saying hey this is it functioning, but like they showed us it actually working with games. They showed us frame rates. They told us a price. They gave us a new product launch. I think AMD kind of closed. A pretty good example. I'm switching hands here. So I'm carrying about 40 pounds worth of gear here. Look at this thing. Got the sick B roll in the screen to see what I'm looking at. Let's unplug that for right now. AMD is hustling hard. All right, we're at the TDK booth. That's right for the entrance, and then we can go downstairs to the big stuff. We were at Eureka Village earlier. I've been doing some, most of these streams, if you guys haven't seen. I've had most of these on Twitch. We decided to go YouTube today out here on the hall. A lot of people trying to get out of there. Thought I would do one on, on YouTube today. Give you guys some live floor coverage. Let's get out here. Okay, so now we're in the main kind of entryway into the South Hall. We're gonna go downstairs and track down ledger x anybody that's a boss that has the ces schedule can give me a booth number it might get us there faster since i'm carrying two pieces of equipment and i don't want to stop the walk to try to remember which booth number of ledger x is in Started the first stream here with Barnacles. All right, AR, gaming and home cinema, but we can get to the other halls through here and until we have to walk over to the North Hall, which I think they're in actually North Hall, but let's walk through this first. Booth 36, 304. Jeremy, which hall does it say it's in? North Hall? Oh my God, you guys hear that bass? Heck yeah. Earthquake's over here rocking it. Get the b-roll set up going here i can double shoot and and live stream here we go we got it got it hooked up Let's get the camera on. There we are. I'm 
might have broke my cable. There we go. Maybe. My cable's been kind of loose. It kind of just hangs out there and it Let's go with this. Let's go B roll central. Ah, oh, this conventional hall is no joke. I didn't think Earthquake did all this stuff, man. They're still putting on these little cubes and stuff. Whoa, excuse me. South Hall 4. Ledger X, is that what that is? <laughs> South Hall Ford. <laughs> South Hall Ford, I think, is where I was at. Girl needs to upgrade the smile. Hey, how funny is this? I'm at an HDMI place. Maybe they have a new cable for me. Live, live testing, live testing replacement. How's it going? You don't have like a live testament replacement I can buy, do you? <laughs> I think I killed one of my HDMI cables. One that feeds my video. You're doing some... I do media, I cover stuff, yeah. I mean, you're doing some interview with... Uh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just roll, I'm rolling through and I saw okay. HDMI and my HDMI was out. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe they have a live sample. It looks like you guys have one, one each on your wall. I'm not gonna take one of those. Lost in translation, boys. All right, let's go find the uh, Ledger X. Let's see here, what booth number are we at? We're at, this is two, so you said it's three. Uh, I'm so serious. Oh, you do interview? I'm ready. Hell yeah, man. I was ready to. If, hey, I, I should have asked him, I'll do the interview if you give me an HDMI cable. What is there? I'm, I'm confused. What, what do you interview when you talk HDMI? Like, the new standards? Oh, dudes. TVs. Which booth is this? This is OLED's, OLED's booth. Looks like they have a range of different. Eighty-six inch TV. Two hundred and seventy-seven inch. What? It's ridiculous. How does that look on the stream? Because what I've seen in person is sick.
looks okay. Yeah, no, I think it looks it looks amazing. Very crisp. It's just the stream quality. The color is super vivid. It's almost like if you if you were editing a photo and you're really dialing up like the you know the colors, like if you were just taking the meat needle and punching it way over. Super photo realistic. How's it going? All right, we've seen that. Kodak. Hey, last year I was here at Kodak Coin was unveiling their their innovative cryptocurrency mining piece of equipment that had no affiliation accordingly to according to the the folks at the Polaroid booth. Switching hands, moving on. Insta 3D. Now these guys are these guys supposedly have a box that you put your you bring your old GoPro into and they're going to give you a 360 Insta here. I did not bring my GoPros, I should have. Arm benches with the uh, dual dual camera in it today, bros. And with the weight of this rig, it's keeps it pretty stable. Gigabyte. That f TV wall. She get a free view ledger access. We're gonna find that. We're gonna stop through here real quick. I see I win. I think this is Gigabyte server stuff. So Linus had a video on this earlier. Fully water cooled Two-phase liquid cooling. I don't know if it's mineral oil. It's some other. They're talking like it's instant dry. Like he keeps putting in a. Uh, he keeps dipping a uh, whatever the material is uh, the, the, that they're submerging it in. When it when it hits air, like on that that dollar bill, dollar dollar bill, 
it is instantly drying. So people are just touching it and it's like completely dry. So some kind of cool tech. Look at this eyewind case. What? random guy when moon <laughs> look at that it's a pinwheel of fans I wins cases Oop, my gimbals flipping out here hold on let me fix my gimbal Fanception, hold on, my gimbal is. There we go. The batteries might be dying in the gimbal. It's okay, I have extras. All right. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep this train rolling. Those are fan LEDs, those are spinning fans. Oh, it feels good here. Oh, it's funny, I got the high frame rate on the other B-roll camera, and I can see the spinning of the fans on the B-roll. Bless you. It's a VR. This is so bad. <laughs> Trying to give you guys some good live footage on floor CES 2019. This is. <laughs> Just mining in Sands Hall. I just left the Sands Hall a while back. I hope they clean those VR headsets. I did see some Purell wipes there. How does this work, bro? They got this all cordoned off. Lots of little Vive little or connector things. You know, like the zones. What in the world is going on over here? It's a VR roller coaster. I don't see a video display what they're looking at, but. Got a 
got the prime spot for this, bros. He's holding a lantern. a bottleneck right here letting people get through People just walking and bumping. <laughs> There's got to be some. I don't know about a. A VR roller coaster, bros. I would think that the headsets would be like damp as hell after everybody getting off that. They got to be replacing those little those pads like all the time. So guys, again, thank you very much for joining us. So what is this? Unlock the power of your mind. Is this mind control? He's got a headset on his head. I'm sorry. So it's not a far stretch to think that this kind of measurement, this kind of quantifying, is going to have a huge impact in the educational field as well. So what we've done is we have a brain machine interface to actually quantify student interest. Let me show you guys how this works. So this screen right here, what you've been looking at, is a screen to detect the quality of the signal that we're getting from the headband. And this is really important if we want to make sure that we're getting clear and accurate data coming from the class. Now, we've included a bunch of really interesting features into the Focus EDU system. The first is relaxation and focus training. Now, relaxation and focus training are key to helping students build the skills that they need in order to succeed both in and outside of the classroom. So we're strengthening their ability to focus, we're strengthening their ability to relax, and then what? from the teacher's point of view, we have a bunch of different ways to provide feedback to both the teachers and the students to continue to improve their educational practice. So I want to do a little 30-second experiment with you guys you know, just now, uh, just to show you how this works. And we're going to choose the uh, rocket ship game. We're going to uh, skip the meditation training for right now, um, but this is really cool, so we've got to do this. So with the rocket ship game, you're going to see your headband ID appear next to your rocket up on the screen, and I want you to do your very best to focus your attention. The more focused that you become, the higher the rocket ship is going to go. So what the rocket ship serves as is essentially a mirror into your own mind. Once you try a bunch of things to get more focused, you try focusing on the rocket, focusing on one of the stars that comes up, doing some mental math, anything you can do to get your brain fired up. And so if everyone's ready, we'll take it away. You're number one, two, three, sorry man, four, five, and six. We're all in order. All right, we're ready. Let's go. You know what you can do? All right, we're off. All right, great. Boy, you're already in the 80s. That's amazing. Guys, oh God, some of the highest numbers we've seen today, guys. Awesome. That's great. Keep that going. Keep that going. Almost to 92. If you can get to 90, I'll be very, very impressed. Come on. Yeah? Or is it just you? Uh, <laughs> awesome. If you're having trouble, then close your eyes, take a deep breath, and then maybe try something else. Right, All right, three more seconds, guys. We're almost done. And there we are. So it looks like two, three, and five. You guys came in first, second, and third place. That's awesome. How do you guys feel about that? Something that's focusing on your alpha and beta wave. Oh, do you And can scan, scan your brain. 
to have a receptive response. It's to start. It's the start, bros. Immersive AR. EMF radiation right there. I wish I could see what they're looking at. It's like it's like Ready Player One all over again. All right, you guys done with VR? Want to go find Ledger X up on the top, upstairs? I'll go where the crowd wants me to go. Let's see here, we got. We're not even halfway through this hall. Leonidas' swords, bro. Yes, I will find the blockchain stuff in the sands. I'll go there first thing tomorrow. We'll be live streaming that from Twitch. I'll go purpose built for that. What? Yeah, that's in the North Hall, I think. The uh, Radeon 7. We're gonna see that today. Get buff, bro. Getting text messages. No, we haven't made it to the AMD booth yet. This has all been VR stuff. trying to text me going to ledger X ledger X south oh. hope you try out the GPU I hope I do too all right. What? VR roller coaster. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through here. There's a, this is like. AMD, AMD, AMD. Yeah, AMD's keynote was baller. Yeah. 
Kleenex Acer. Cyber shoes. That's a popular game chair. Yes. Hello. You've passed like three people I know. Nice. Three three companies are actual people. Somebody just hit the fire alarm. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. We are currently investigating the alarm signal you are I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. But they're having like a red alert event here. Be careful. Oh, excuse me. Red Dragon. Some new gear. I got through so many keyboards and mice, bros. Oh my god, I found the Atari booth. It's Pong. Go ahead, go ahead, I'll phone. Putting the uh, swag in my bag. Hold on. All right. Good to go. They said they're investigating the alarm. Live stream going. 
going right now too in Twitch. Swaggit. Yeah. There's there's a lot of different like little things that they're giving out, but I just don't have room to carry all of it. It's like you need to bring an army of people here. I have a couple, but Marsh already had to go home. Pong Atari in Nintendo. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome to uh, yeah. CES 1984. All right, who's my Ledger X folks? Are somebody tell me exactly which which uh, air they're at? They're in 4,000 or 3,000. We got 15% battery power, so we got to get there. <laughs> I will go live on my other phone if I need to. This phone is live streamed though, two hours and 22 minutes so far of content today. Most of it was on Twitch. Tomorrow I'm gonna be live streaming on Twitch. I'm kind of mixing it up. I'm giving both YouTube and Twitch a little bit of love. You guys that can't follow me over from Twitch, how's the stream quality compared to Twitch today? Somebody know what the uh, Ledger X booth is? North Halls is this way. YouTube is fat today. We need to look up what it is. Let me look and see if I can find it on the app. We need to find, we're looking for Ledger X, so anybody wants to find that, help me find that. CES app. Skip the ad. Wednesday. Led. All right, it says South Hall 36304, South Hall 4. This is South Hall 3. South Hall 4 is in the back, got it. 36304, that's what I got here too. 36304. All right, let's go. This is it, this is where we're at. I see I see the entrance, it's saying where it's, it's right here. South Hall 4, 36304. Let's scoot out to the left here and see if we can scoot around people. 14% battery left. Should be enough. We started earlier with 42%, so this, this phone has been a boss when it comes to live streaming. Lucky's got 118 people helping him. Yeah, so you guys are my, you guys are my ancillary support. I do appreciate it. 
carrying about a 40 pound backpack of batteries and stuff and about another 22 or 23 pounds worth of camera equipment on my left arm and I'm live streaming with a gimbal on the right hand and I felt my watch vibrate earlier which I had it set to um, 20,000 steps so we're at about 23,000 steps for today which is quite a bit for a big guy like me carrying probably 40 to 50 pounds worth of gear yeah so like hit the like buttons bros all right let's check a 36304 let's ask the information floor proof They're having a conversation. I'm just going to go for it. They could care less that I was standing there. Good job, CES. Glad you guys are having a personal conversation. Looks so helpful. Yeah, I was just standing there. They didn't even give me like a look or nothing. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't mind me that 118 people just saw you like do nothing. And the other dude that was standing there with them was a, a, another employee. So it's like, like what? Straight back from Jarba. 36. Okay, we're in 30. We're still in South Hall 3. I see a sign, I think, in the back for South Hall 4. So we're walking right there. We're at 12% battery life. We're still pretty good. So it's it's okay. If we get if we get down to 3%, I'm just gonna unhook it from the gimbal. I have a battery pack. I'll just hold the camera. So we're not going anywhere, boys. This video just got copyrighted. You're doing the job in a house like that. I'm trying to bring you guys the good qualities. Or as good as quality as I can. As, as good as the HTC phone will let me and the internet connection I have through AT&T that's been a boss out here in Vegas. My Sprint connection is not very good out here in Vegas. Hashtag Sprint, get some towers out here. What is going on here? That's pretty cool to see in real life, Rose. I don't know what the hell it is. Light on, they're still around? Who, ha who in this channel has had a light on, like CD-ROM drive? Remember those days? good to see they're still in business. Jabra. We're, we're close. We're close. Scooting by. Rocking both. All right, so straight behind Jabra. How's it going? You good? I had to say hi to the pretty lady. You know I still love you, Miss VVT. All right. All right. Who on? Thirty. 36, 
30, we're at 35, 6, 216. <laughs> she was fun. <laughs> Miss McBeatty's giving me the dots. <laughs> ah, I thought you'd get appreciation of that. Switch hands. It looks like she wanted a sweater. No, it's pretty warm in here. I mean, for me. I, I think they're trying to keep it cool, but... At 10% battery power. We're at 35229. We need to be 36304. Is that what the number is? They're in the back, bros. Put them to the back of the room. We need to slap Carter. He, he can't be alert. <laughs> Oops. Bro is going to walk right into me, bros. Thirty five four four two. We're getting closer. Phone power is at nine percent. We're gonna set this up on the table when we get there to Ledger X and I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to a battery pack and let it let the thing start charging. I passed like three or four uh, HDMI cable makers. I have to get an HDMI replacement for the one I have here. 36304. We're at 30, 35, 35 400 right now. Passing lane. I'm walking quick now, boys. Thirty thirty five three sixty five. Let's cut over a couple. I don't know where it is in relational to the if it was straight back from Jabra or if it was thirty five 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 nine. He got distracted by the Corona girl. I've always appreciated beauty. That's why I'm married to Miss BBT. Hashtag, that's right. 35,567. I see the back of the wall, so this thing was in the back of the building, bros. Holy massive. I'm gonna do a time lapse of this video. And this is, there's like, there's like 10, 10 rows like this. Bros, and this is just one of the halls of three that are here. If you guys have any kind of idea of like how long this thing is, you guys have been watching me walk from the front to the back. All right, we're in 35, 30, where the hell is this thing? 30, 35, 580, 35, 585, 30, what? We're at the back wall. Oh my God, where is this place? 30. Let's go this way. 35, 6, 35.7, 35.8, 35.9. Thirty six one eight five. What? I'm confused. Thirty six one eight five. Tell me it's not this way back to the front. Thirty six one eight two. Thirty six one eight. Huh? Well, this is going down. Like this is the corner of thirty six hundred. South Hall four. Right. 
right from where I'm at. Let's see here. So that's the corner where 3600 is. 36180, 3608, this is going down again. But I'm looking at a sign in front of me, it says South Hall 4 this way. 36178, still in the 3600s. South 4B, I think it's over here. Nope, that's meeting rooms. Six. Thirty-six one seven eight. It's going back up again. Around the wall, behind the check, behind the curtains. Thirty-six. You guys said it's thirty-six three zero four. So confused. I don't think this is it. South Hall 4. I'm laughing way too hard right now. 36062. I bet you it's right next to Jabra. Well, I don't know. We're almost back to Jabra. Thirty-five, no. I'm lost. I'm lost, Rose. This is the story of my life out here. Where is Ledger? Somebody sent an APB out for Ledger. You guys said it was next to Jabra. Who said that? Did you guys see a chart? What's up, bro? You're on the live stream. 140 people watching you. What are you going to do? There it is, come here, come here. What do you got, what do you got, smart shopping? You got food? I like food. He's got food. Jesus profile, there you go. All right, see ya. Let's go this way. All right, we're at five percent. I'm gonna get right over here and around this corner. We're gonna we're gonna switch to battery power. Ask the Corona girl. Hold on, there's a there's a hard left here, boys. There's a hard left over here. Thirty six three three six. We're oh, we found it. We found it. Hold on, let me get my arm. We found it. Hold on, let me spin this thing. My camera's getting loose. All right, let's do this. We found it. So they have this little nook off to the side of the hall that expanded left towards the front. 36333. It's, it's a food panda. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you can clip that. It's use it as a 36700. Hold on, I'm way up. Three, six. GP batteries, air charge. Scooters. 147 people. We're almost to the Ledger X booth. We're zoning in on it now. 36520s. I've just walked the entire South Hall upper stage. Front to back, left to right, live. I'm like a mountain goat in CES. 36522. 36, 322. This is 36. Okay, we're right. Like, it's got to be within like a couple booths. I feel like we're on a scavenger hunt. Thirty-six, three oh, 
36317. Unlock the device and you're on your way. The idea is 3% battery power. 36313, 36.311. Oh my god, look at this booth. How could I miss it? Ledger X with a corner huge booth. We found it, boys. We're at 3% power. We need to switch this out. We're gonna set up right over here. How's it going? We got the cool room. We're gonna switch to battery power for a second, guys. Hold on. Set right off. Got 150 people on a live stream right looking for this booth with me. I literally went I literally went all the way. Dude, I was right at light on. I went all the way to the back around and then back down this way. So see you in front of Hey, how's it going? Good, good. How's it going, Eric? You mind? So I'm Business Be Trippin'. I have a YouTube channel since 2013 to educate people on tech, you know, cryptocurrency technology. I know you probably know Omar and all those guys. This is kind of Mark, the, you know, the group out there. Um, I used to do a lot of like work mining. Okay. And mostly with cryptocurrencies. This is the most that we've got right now. Uh, about 40,000 subscribers uh, on there. I've got 150 people right now live on YouTube. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. 156. What's going on? So, I heard about this. Um, interested. Uh, do you guys have a beer for like sell? Or do you? So, we are here at like a few. So it's really yeah. for encrypting a little bit. So, uh, it's supposed to, to store your private keys. Yeah. 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 So basically, this is. Uh, like, uh, it looks a lot like the Nano S, yep. but uh, the difference is that we have a battery, it works with Bluetooth, so you can really connect with your uh, smartphone. So it's a hardware wallet, yep. you know, your crypto, and this is like the latest innovation. Uh, so Bluetooth, more capacity, bigger screen, a lot of uh, it's packed with features. So it's uh, the new product that we are announcing now at the every series. Actually, yeah, it was, so I have I have a whole bunch of questions. I'm gonna make sure of a battery. We were, we were at two percent walking, and I wanted to make sure it was on and stayed on. So I'm I'm trying to get that set up to where we can keep this going. Here we go. We are on battery power now, folks. We've been covering the the whole. Or it just came from the sands too. So I was like trying to get over. We are now finally charging one percent. Oh, holy, holy heck. Holy God, there we go. Let's take this down. All right, we are back. We got power, 1% power, holy crap. All right, so um, a lot of questions. I mean, like the moment you guys announced it this week, like a lot of people started hitting up our Twitter and stuff like, oh, how's it work? You know, how's the, how's the Bluetooth? I did see some of the comments that, you know, you go from a perspective that it's being attacked on Bluetooth, yeah. right? Is it secure or these questions? So right. From our point of view, uh, so Bluetooth is like a USB cable. It's just mm -hmm. a communication, a media, a beer. Yep. And the device acts upon uh, the fact that the communication can be compromised. Yep. So the private key never leaves the secure chip. So it doesn't. It's never uh, on the on the air. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the communication, the Bluetooth, mm -hmm. is encrypted. Mm -hmm. uh, and it only sends public information, like yep. Yep, the address where you want to send, etc. Mm -hmm. So, in the case that the Bluetooth connection will be compromised, yep. it's only a matter of privacy. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone could, uh, so one, well, it's not trivial, it's not easy to break the Bluetooth connection. Correct, correct. But, okay, uh, let's say, um, in the case it's done, you will only see uh, public information, so it's more like a privacy issue, it's not a security issue. Okay. Because even if you have a man in the middle attack and someone wants to replace what you want to sign, yep. as long as you always verify on device the parameters of the transaction, you are mm -hmm. very safe. Yep. So Bluetooth doesn't impact at all the security model of the ledger the, the devices. Devices. excellent so it just gives you a little uh, the the innovation that is being brought is now is that you can go through that activity of paying for things now without having to plug it into yeah, a USB that's laptop, you don't have to take your laptop exactly. that's you just uh, go uh, online with your uh, with your device we have the ledger live which is now uh, on iOS on Android. Yep. So when you want to see, uh, just to, to, to have a look at your uh, portfolio or to make payments or to receive, then you just pair with it directly 
So from a use, use, use case perspective, from the UX point of view, yep. this, is, uh, this is much better. A much because, better situation. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, because a lot of people would be like, well, I got to bring my laptop or yeah, I got to do something. Very and Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you are just, if you just want to hold on, you know, to yeah, yeah. And then, okay. It's fine, you like it. Yeah, you're fine. So that's why the Nano S stays and we continue to support the Nano S. It's very important. Right. It's, uh, yep. it's not a replacement for the Nano S, the Nano X is more like an extension. Yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, our objective on that is really to have a better use case for, for crypto, for cryptocurrencies and payments. A absolutely. And I know one of the other questions that I was getting hit up on Twitter a lot with is from a coin standpoint of uh, like the amount of coins. Like, there's, it sounds like you guys are going to have a lot more uh, yeah, options. Yeah, yeah. Now the storage is up to 100. So, um, we have 10 times more memory for the apps. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you do not have to uninstall, reinstall, which is quite a pain for the Nano S. I yep. know it's one of the biggest, uh, let's yep. say, uh, one of the most requested features to have more space. Yep. And so the secure element, the ST33, on the Nano X has two megabytes of memory mm -hmm. when the ST31 of the Nano S had only uh, 300 kilobytes. So okay. really much more memory. Yep. Uh, so the architecture of the Nano X has been improved in the sense that the screen and the buttons are directly connected to the secure element. So it's also an improvement of the general architecture of the hardware wallet. Excellent. Yeah, that I think that really was the two main questions. Like, what could I put on it? And then is the innovation that I don't have to plug it into something? And I think that was really strong. So no, I, that was one of the things I wanted to come by and just talk through and just confirm. And that's uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, no, that's great. I'm gonna see if there's any questions. We got so 130. You guys could hear everything, right? Fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm just making sure it's pretty loud in yeah, here. It's, uh, this is noisy. Yeah. So this is what I've been live streaming on. This is the HTC Exodus One. It's that first blockchain phone. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually got a, a chip in there that it that's supposed to be hardware. They're, they just released the SDK on it. So I've been waiting to get in there and start doing some development and stuff with it. But it's. Uh, I've been, it's not really out, there's not too many people that, you have to use cryptocurrency to buy it, so not a lot of people have it yet, so it's like, I'm, it's been doing the live stream, but everybody said that it's been pretty good. You guys have any questions why we're here? In the live stream, 134 people are on YouTube right now, I, I live stream both on Twitch and YouTube, so it's, let's see if there's in there. We'll give it, a, they say they could hear it fine, excellent. So hopefully I answer most of your guys' questions. I'll give you guys a second here. So if we were, if anybody wanted to go, go about, is this available right now online? Can people so pick it up? You can pre-order. You can right pre-order it, okay. Uh, because it was going to be delivered on uh, March. But mm -hmm. now if you order now, you are going to get a special editions. Okay. Uh, uh, like to, uh, if people want to, 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 to buy now, so they have something uh, different. Yep. Uh, and uh, special edition, the Genesis Block edition of the Nano X, which okay. is more like a collector edition. Yeah. So that's the. So if you pre order now, you get the collector's edition before it's out. So that's kind of, it gives you a differentiation. Yeah, exactly. So. so, so people, uh, to, to, uh, you have that Genesis Block version. I like that, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. naming convention. That's good marketing there. So how's, uh, what's, the, what's the range on the Bluetooth? So the range of the Bluetooth is about, uh, it depends on the environment, but it's the maximum of 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. Um, but anyway, usually you will always have both. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's more like yeah, 30 feet maximum, and in a dense environment, it would be more like 10, 10 feet. 10 feet. Uh, if you have a lot of noise and uh, electromagnetics. And I mean, Bluetooth's been around for a long time, so it's a really refined technology standard. So yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's the latest version of the protocol, yeah. uh, which uh, uses numeric comparison to uh, uh, take out all ma to, to defeat all attempt of man in the middle attack, yeah, etc. Yeah. It's encrypted end to end, so it's quite a strong protocol. Uh, and in any case, uh, all the information that goes on the Bluetooth transmission is public information. So again, yeah. it's about privacy. Yeah. It's not about security. Yeah, correct. So privacy, perfect. Yep. Yeah. No, that, I, I think I think I got through all the questions there, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna power off this live stream for a second, guys. I'm gonna check, take a look here. Let you let this charge back up, and then we'll go back roaming the floor. So stay tuned. We'll be back here in a bit. Yep. Thank you for watching. There we go.